Hello, my name is Connor Garcia, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to post your practice and game schedule on your team site page in Team Sideline. First, you're going to need to sign in by clicking the sign in button on the top right hand corner of any of the CYO Camp Howard web pages. And once you've signed in, you'll be brought to this account home tab. Uh, from here, you can see what teams you're assigned to over here on the right. Um, and you can see I'm assigned to this third grade boys team. And by clicking the link, it'll bring you to your team site page. Uh, it's important to note if you're assigned to multiple teams, it's good to verify that you've clicked the correct team. That way you don't post to the wrong team. And I can verify I'm doing my third grade boys team. So we'll come to this events tab and click the add event button. Um, the first field you're going to fill in is just the name of the event and then the type I'm going to pick practice also. So I'm naming that practice and I'm picking the type as practice. Now there are two ways uh, you can go about posting your practice schedule. Uh, you can use this one time event or this recurring event. Um, I'm going to show you how to do both but I'm going to start with the one time event. So let's say I have a practice next week, uh, the 17th on Monday at 5 p.m. So I will go in, I'll pick my day, I'll pick my time, and you have to pick the minutes here. Uh, I'm going to pick duration, although it's not required. I'm just going to show you as an example. And it's important to note that the duration is in minutes. So this is a 90-minute practice that I'm um, creating here. Uh, the only other thing that's required is this location name, and I'm just going to fill that in as Jim for my default, but you could get more specific in here. Uh, you could have a meeting, like a 15-minute meeting before practice that you want to let parents know about. Uh, you can send out an email reminder by clicking this, and you could pick to send it out the day before, a couple days before, uh, just to give them a heads up that practice is coming up. And if you're practicing at different locations, uh, you can also add the street address uh, just to help the parents out a little bit. Once you've filled out all the information, uh, you're going to come down to this Save and Add button. This will add the event to the event list and also let you um, add another event. So if you're just going one by one, you're going to want to use that Save and Add because it will let you just go to the next practice and add it. So if you have your practice schedule in front of you, you can just hammer away one by one all those practice times, picking each individual day and time, and going through and clicking the Saving and Add button. Uh, the second way is much faster, but really only works if you have a more consistent practice schedule. So I'm going to name this one Practice 2, so you can uh, tell that it's my second um, example. So this time we're not picking the one-time event, we're picking the recurring event. And I'm going to say, all right, starting next Tuesday, the 18th, until the month after, January the 22nd, every Tuesday um, at 6 p.m., uh, we're going to have practice. So this will create an event for every Tuesday between the dates you've selected here, and it will create it for a 6 p.m. practice. Um, if you fill out any of this um, information here, like the meet time or sending out the email, it will apply to all the events that you're creating. So that looks like it'll be about six practices there. So it'll apply to all six of those practices. Um, I'm going to name this location gym number two, uh, just to show you. It's my second example. And this time I'm going to click the save button, not the save and add, because I just want to go look at my event list. By clicking the save button, it'll just take me to my event list. And you can see now, on the event list uh, the two different ways that I've done it. So this is the one-time event. You could go in, like I said before, and just add them one at a time. This is more accurate, especially if you have a more inconsistent uh, practice schedule. But this uh, recurring event uh, schedule feature is also good if you are practicing on the same day every week. So maybe, yeah, you are practicing every Tuesday, even if you're practicing at different times, you can always come in and edit the time. Um, so let's say maybe this Tuesday practice is actually at 8 p.m. I can just change that to 8 p.m. and then click Save. And it will only change this one. It won't change all of them. It'll just change this one to 8. So this is basically like putting a placeholder Tuesday practice. And you can come in and edit the times as you either figure them out or get updated. 
Um, let's say a practice gets canceled. You could come in like we're not probably practicing on Christmas here. I can come over to this red X and click the OK button and it'll delete that practice. And then this is going to show your practice times. And again, you could send out email reminders to parents. And this will also be posted in their events tab on their page. Um, we're going to go add a game now just to, um, as an example. So again, there's two ways you could do it. You could do the one-time event. So maybe you want to specifically say we have a game playing FMES. Um, so we'll put game as the type this time. And we're going to say this is a one-time event because I specified that I'm playing FMES up here. We don't want to create eight games of playing FMES. Uh, so we're playing them on the 5th. And let's just say we're playing them at 8 a.m. Um, right there again you could add in all this extra stuff I'm not going to I will add the location name because let's say it's a road game for us and we're playing at FMES so I could put in their location name and then fill out their street address which is really helpful for parents so they don't have to look it up or look in the CYO rule book for the location they can just have the location on this event list and if you want to do that one time event remember you can do this save and add and just add however many games you have to that list and just do the save and add or maybe you just want to go in and do the recurring event and do this game and pick game again and you want to do the recurring event and say all right I know I'm gonna have games every day or every Saturday from the 5th until uh, March 2nd uh, again you're gonna to want to pick this Saturday and it will create um, an event for every Saturday between these dates that's a game Again, you're not going to know the time of every game, or maybe not every game starts at the same time. You'll just want to put in kind of a placeholder time uh, right there, and then you can go back and edit the times later. So this time I'm going to, oh, I need to add the location. So we'll do gym, and we'll name it game this time, because um, all those are going to change if you're playing at different places. Um, so I'm going to save it so I can go look at my event list again. And now you can see here's my game at FMES or here's my game that it's added to every Saturday. So those are the two ways you can do it. You can decide which way is easier for you. But those are the two ways you can add practice times and game times to your team site event tab. Now there's two other ways you could upload your practice or game schedule and it kind of depends on how you receive that schedule. So if you received it as an Excel or a PDF file, you can go to this Files tab and then click Add File. If you have that saved on your computer, you can just click the Select button and then upload that file and name it Practice Schedule or Game Schedule and then parents can view that file that you've uploaded. Uh, you could also go to this Links tab and add a link. If you got it as a Google Doc, you could name it Practice Schedule and then give them the URL to that Google Doc and you could update it in real time and they would just have to come in here and click the link button to view that link. Um, so those are the ways that you can upload your practice and game schedule to your team site using Team Sideline.